we gotta talk. I just want to know what is it with Fujifilm and making products that everyone wants to get their hands on. This is the Instax Mini Evo. Now if you don't know what the Instax Mini Evo is, it is a hybrid digital and film camera. Basically with Instax you have three options. You have the printers which is what I have used for the past three or four years and this basically lets you send photos from your app to this printer so you can print them and you can send photos you've taken with your phone or photos you've taken with your camera and you can even sync up your camera your Fujifilm camera with this printer itself and then you can print directly from your camera to the printer and that is what I have been doing in my series which you have seen on YouTube which is printing photo spots. Now other than printers you also have the instant Fuji Instax cameras and those basically mean when you click the shutter button and when you take a photo it will instantly print out the photo that you've taken. You take your photo and it is automatically printed. So what is the Instax Mini Evo then? The Instax Mini Evo is a combination of both. This is basically a digital camera where you can take as many photos as you want and it also doubles as a printer. So you can take photos and print them instantly or you can select one of the photos that you've taken and print the one that you want. Now the Instax Mini Evo came out back in 2021 and even though it's been a couple of years it is one of the best if not the best hybrid cameras out there. For $250 you will be getting the Instax Mini Evo. Now even though the price seems a bit hefty at first at $250 Canadian dollars, this will actually help you save a lot of money. See when you buy the instant Instax cameras you will be taking photos and you will be printing and wasting your film and you don't have any other chance at taking a different composition unless you are willing to waste more film. And when it comes to the printers of course you're going to be saving up a lot of money because you can pretty much print any photo from your phone or from your camera but that means you will have to carry your other camera with you and your printer at the same time. With the Instax Mini Evo however you can just walk around with this in your pocket you can take as many photos as you want and you can selectively choose what to print. So this means you will be saving up on film and paper in the long run and it's a great deal for the price. If you're a person who takes a lot of photos, you can just use your Instax Mini Evo on the spot and you can take as many photos as you want and when you find the perfect one, you can just print it straight away. Now film for the Instax in general is not cheap. You have different types of film paper. You have the mini paper, you have the square, you have with border, you have borderless. There's a lot of different types and designs. You have paper that is white, you have paper that is black, you have rainbow, and this means you can have prints based on your style and your taste. My personal favorite is the black border film. Now for the price, this camera looks really, really good. It does have a retro look and feel to it. It also comes with a 27 millimeter F2, which is not obviously of the highest quality, but for the price, it does the job perfectly. You also have a large LCD screen on the back, which will give you a lot of viewing when taking your photos. But the problem is in sunlight, when it gets very bright, it is pretty hard to see the screen. Now the Instax Mini Evo also has a lot of dials on top and on the front. And pretty much the lens at the front does rotate, which is similar basically to the XF lenses that Fujifilm uses. By rotating the front lens element, you will get different lens styles. Some of my favorites are the mirror, the half frame, the multiple exposure, and the fish eye. And by rotating the dial here up top on the front, you will get your film simulations or your film effects. Now obviously the film simulations are not going to be the same ones that you have on your Fujifilm cameras or your high-end Fujifilm cameras, but for the price it does have a lot of nice film simulations. You do have the normal look, the vivid, the sepia, and the monochrome look which is one of my favorites. Now combining both the lens filters on the front and the film filters on top, you can get up to 100 combinations as it says on their website. So you can combine basically your monochrome film effect with your mirror lens effect and you can get some nice crazy combination. On top you have the shutter button which you use to take your photos and you have this small function button here which basically resets all your settings. So if you were on a mirror lens effect or a sepia film effect you just press this fn button and it basically resets all your settings to default now to be honest my favorite part of this mini evo is the print lever here 
and it is so satisfying. Once you've taken a photo that you really like, you can instantly print it just by pulling the lever here that says print, and you will see a nice animation on your screen showing the film kind of developing and coming out of the Instax Mini Evo. Moreover, as I said, this is a digital hybrid camera. So this means when you take a photo, it will save into memory. Now the built-in memory storage is not that big. It can save up to 40 photos, I believe, but it does take a micro SD card. And if you just put eight gigs there, you can take so many photos. I personally have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, and I don't think I will ever run out of photos because obviously it does not shoot RAW, it only shoots small size JPEG. And basically having this ability to take as many photos as you want just incentivizes you to use your camera more. And this pretty much means, yes, you want to use this as much as you can, capture as many moments as you can. So as I just said, on the bottom, it does have a micro SD slot and the charging port is, unfortunately on my model is not a USB-C charging port, but on the newer models that came out recently, they fixed that and they've changed it to USB-C. Now let's talk a bit more about some extra settings you have on your Instax Mini Evo. You can also zoom in on your subjects. Now the zoom in is a digital zoom and is not the greatest zoom ever, but it does the job. You can also turn your flash on and off. If it is on auto, make sure you turn it off when you don't need it. And you can even control your exposure compensation for when a photo is overexposed or underexposed. Also, there is a plus button right here, which helps you save your favorite combinations of lens filters and film simulations so you can access them on the spot. Now, quality wise, it is not the best and that is expected when it comes to the price of this. But the experience is much different than taking photos with your smartphone. It helps you think more about your composition and it helps to be more creative when you combine the lens filters with the film simulations that are built in. So if you need something to spark your creativity, this is it. If you do have the Instax Mini Evo, I also recommend you download the Instax Mini Evo app. This helps you transfer your printed photos from your Instax Mini Evo to your phone. I'm not sure why you can't transfer basically just any photo. They only let you transfer the printed photos, but me personally, what I am doing is I am transferring my photos from my micro SD card to my phone to get better quality. How about the printing quality? Honestly, the printing quality is absolutely amazing and I don't expect anything less from Instax. I've been using their Instax printer, the SP Share 3, which is almost four years old for the past four years and the quality is still the same. Not to mention, if you do not want to take photos with the Instax Mini Evo, you can just straight up send photos and print them with the Instax Mini Evo and just use it as a printer. Print quality is excellent, colors are amazing. I've never had an issue with Instax printers. I've never had an issue with Instax film and the colors come out always great. If you do get your hands on an Instax Mini Evo, I recommend doing what I did. I bought myself a photo book or a photo album that is specifically made for Instax Mini Evo prints. That way I can put all my memories inside this photo book and basically I can look at these photos whenever I want, just like in the old days when you look at photos of yourself. Now, if you do go on a lot of trips and you have a family or you go to parties or events or concerts, this is a great thing to put in your pocket and would be great to take a lot of nice memories and photos with. Now, obviously this is not meant for serious photography or serious street photography. This is just not made for street photography or portrait photography or any type of photography. This is basically when you want to spark your creativity, you wanna have some fun, you just wanna save up as many photos as you want from a certain event. Speaking of this is not made for street photography, keep an eye out for a future video where I challenge myself to do something crazy with the Instax Mini Evo. But again, this does retail for 250 Canadian dollars. And in my honest opinion, you will be saving up when it comes to film. Is it something that you really, really need? Probably not. Is it something that you will really enjoy? Yeah, probably yes. Parties, events, friends, family, you be the judge. But that's it for this video. Super quick review of the Instax Mini Evo. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. It's still 999.